Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nicholas Clark Corner and designer of World Envision. Hey, this video is different. All right, in this video, we actually got a chef. We sat down and talked with Hustle Ninja Rich and we talked with Tori from God is Dope and Eurovica. Hey, and y'all see in the background right now, I got, I got that Hollywood shack on. A video is going crazy, but this one is about to be the next banger. Without further ado, Let's hop straight into it. All right, welcome back to the channel. All right, I'm Marlon Wise Corn and CEO of World Envision. Yeah, I'm Nicholas Club Corn and designer of World Envision. And we back with another one on the Activate Your Vision podcast. All right, and this one is very, 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 very special. We got a lot of treats in store for the for, for all of us today. But um, for those of you who don't know us, we started our brand with 12 shirts and $120, and we turned it into a multi-million dollar apparel empire. And we started this channel to give you the jewels and tips that it takes to be successful. Literally, we started this channel because we didn't have, we was trying to find who to look up to when we was getting our brand started. And so uh, having a why, having a mission was very important to us. And this was a, is a part of our why. It was mm -hmm. so big that we had to create a whole new company, a whole separate platform to even like, put this idea in place. So like, I, I hope you guys appreciate us making these videos and doing these podcasts and being on YouTube. I know we just reached 70,000 subscribers. Hey, let's so get it. We on our way to 80,000 subscribers. So thank you. Us. Thank you so much. We appreciate you from the bottom of our heart. Make me want to cry, I promise. But hey, we got to get the 80K. So go ahead <laughs> on, like this video, subscribe to our channel, run us up, baby. We going to get that faster than ever with your support and your help. Hey, let's get it. Hey, but without further ado, all right, so these guys are, are, are familiar to the channel, but what we're going to do is we're going to reintroduce them for those of y'all that may be new to watching our channel, all right? That's cool? That's cool? Yep. Hey, we're going to start with you, Tori. Talk to us. What's up, y'all, man? Appreciate y'all having me here today. My name is Tori McKissick. Um, finally, I can say I'm the owner of Eurovica, my new brand. Okay. Um, if you watch videos before, you may see me talk about my brand, One Mission. Hold on, let's clap it up for you, bro. Let's clap it up for you. <laughs> 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 But I um, started one mission, I was 16 um, in 2019, um, started working with a company, God is Dope, and handled their operations, and um, had a few troubles with trademark, and I didn't let that stop me from uh, pursuing, doing my own brand, so I launched this brand, Eurovica, it's my name backwards, and Vica is an acronym for Victory is Close Ahead, so if I gave up, I would never know what I could accomplish, so it's like, Ooh, you never know how close you really might be. That's what mm. I like that. What about you, Rich? Come on now. Sure. Richie Rich! You ain't new to YouTube, man. <laughs> My name is Rich, uh, owner of After Hours. Um, a lot of print-on-demand shops. I've done a lot of things in the apparel space. Dove into each and every single business model. Most recently, was able to share all those experiences through YouTube. And, uh, you know, I'm proud of what I've been able to accomplish. Like, most recently, I've been interviewing a lot of my students, and, you know, multiple have crossed over six figures, and I got multiple students crossing over seven figures. So, you well, know. Hold on. Let's clap it up for that. Let's clap it up for that. Ooh, Let's ooh. get it. And also, I'm going to shout out our students. We have five students that, in the last four months, have been able to reach 10K. And they're getting out there. They're doing pop-ups. They got kiosks, and we're starting to grow that online. But it's important because, like, a lot of people watching this, they see our brands, but they don't realize like what it took for us to do that. Like right, remember we gave you the tip to do those pop-up right. shops and then you hit the streets, you're like, damn, we really selling it. But that's how we built our brand, like being out on the streets, being outside, doing pop-up shops, connecting with people in the real world, sharing our story. And so like we share that with everybody. Like if you want, if you really want to build your brand, you're going to have to go out there and stand on it. And, and I mean, you can be successful in the, you know, print on demand, but when you want, you you understand, now you, you got like life in your brand. I mean, yeah, you could print on demand, you could make the extra cash, but it's nothing like going out there, doing that pop-up shop, seeing people really, you know, rocking your merch. Um, it's just a different feeling. Hey, first I want to uh, give give my give my boy Rich his flowers, because how we, when we first got started, we only had like full 5,000 subscribers. Not, I don't even think it was that. And I comment on the video. This is how we met Rich. Comment on the video was like, yo, we should do a video together. Rich ain't look at the subscriber count or nothing. Rich said, man, I'm going to pull up and come do that video all the way, what? What that, what, eight hours away, nine hours away? Well, that's on spot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> four like, four. Can, I I was New Orleans, bro. <laughs> it came super far to uh, come make a video with us. And after that video, man, we've been connecting ever since. So I just wanted to say I appreciate you, my dog. That's that's my guy right now. That's my guy, all right? So without... Well, well, before we even, like, 
because you just hit on like having those connections. So before, you know, like what has building a relationship and having connections like done for you guys, like personally, because in the brand, we talk about all the intangibles. All right, you got to run Facebook ads. You got to do pop-ups. We just were talking about that. But like, what are those, how having relationships have grown your brand? I mean, to me, it's more than just like, you know, surrounding yourself by good people. It's always been like, I was born and raised in Columbus, Georgia. It's two hours south from like, there's nothing there. It's like, it's country. Like, if you don't see like, to me, like, I got to be a little bit materialistic. Like, I don't see a nice car go by. I don't see a nice <laughs> house go Like, I don't see nothing. So it's like, once I moved to Atlanta, I'm like surrounded by like all the success. And then the same thing when it comes to like your friends. A lot of people were like still hanging out with it. Like friends they grew up with, they're still doing the same thing today that they was doing like when they was 14, 15. So like when I started surrounding myself by more successful people, you know, that's the same thing that I wanted to breathe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. What about you, bro? Man, we're gonna talk about experience with what, what us here. Hey, man, we be chopping it up. Hey, we be chopping it up all the time just about just building a brand. So for me, for me, relationships, connections is is the way we able to uh, do what we are doing right now, like giving out information. Like right. without y'all, like we not able to share e those those extra experiences and those different perspectives on building different brands. So yeah. um, definitely, 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 uh, you have to nurture relate every relationship that you come across, and you gotta continuously um, add value to those people too. Not just like take, take, take. I feel like you know with this is. is it's mutual. Like, we always want to help each other. So, um... Yeah, I was going to say with that, it's like, I met y'all maybe at the end of 2019, maybe 2020. But, um... Got Damn, my, it's been that long? Yeah, it's been yeah, that, that long. Bro. It's been a, God, a minute. And it's like, um... Like, I had a print shop since, like, 2020. And it's like, just our relationship has always been like, man, you call me, like, hey, what you think about this? So I'll call you, what you think about that? And it's just, like, been a pure, like, relationship. Like, it ain't been, like, Oh man, mm -hmm. I mean, no invoices like yeah. transfer. It's just been like, yo, it's gonna yep. be a game and all of that. And it's just like it took this amount of time for you, like, hey man, like let's let's start running the job with you, with your shop. And, yeah. like, and, and with that opportunity, it's like my team had to, you know, we had to execute. Mm -hmm. This is like because it's like both sides. Like you want to build a relationship, but also when the opportunity presented, you can't you can't fumble at that uh, point. I mean, like, that's man. big, and that's big because like some people aren't even ready for that opportunity. Like people. I'm pretty sure y'all see it all the time. Come up, let's do a collab. And not saying that we don't want to collab, but it is is you still have to hone in on your craft, what yeah. you got going, what you got doing, and dialing into that, uh, so that way we can continue to grow. Because and what I mean by that is let's just say we worked two years ago. You maybe you, the system that you got now ain't the system that you had then. Mm -hmm. So 10,000 orders could have maybe even messed up a relationship. Right. And just because you want it right now and you feel like, man, I want to collab. We cool already. Why we can't just do it? And it, it and that may not have been the case. But just saying, like, you have to be able to work to prepare yourself for those. People want to do collabs, but they don't even bring any, like, at least show me the designs that we could do. Right. So now we want to collab. So what I got to I got to think about it. I got to put the play together. But it's it's easier if you come in and, and like you already got the play for us to run. Right. At that point, just a yes and no. Or, and sometimes no just mean not yet. It don't mean like no forever. <laughs> yep. And it's like you really got that relationship. It's like why you, like you don't have to be pressed on like doing it right now. It's like the relationship strong. Like, man, we're going to be doing life and business with each other for Ever. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So it's like you don't have to be so um, press to like make it happen right now. Right, and, and it's that microwave mentality. But speaking of microwaves, why I just mentioned that, <laughs> <laughs> like we literally got a surprise for y'all. This this is gonna be a different episode. All right, we got a chef that Ooh. cooked us up a meal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A chef, a chef okay. cooked us up a meal. So we gonna eat. We we at this nice dining table right now. So we gonna eat. And we gonna um, talk game, all right? So let's go ahead and check in with the show. What up, y'all? What up? It's your girl, Chef Lopez here, chilling in the ATL with my boys here, World of Vision YouTube channel. They invited me to their humble spot here today. I am so grateful to be able to have blessed them with a good meal from my heart. These boys, I met them a little while back at a Super Bowl party um, back in Phoenix where I actually live really from uh, Memphis, Tennessee. But out here, like I said, in ATL, I just wanna show y'all what I threw down for them today here. They like a little Raging and Cajun, so I had to bring them home with my style of Raging Cajun. With that being said, we got some um, Raging Cajun chicken here, some lemon herb asparagus, some uh, shrimp and garlic chicken 
alfredo, homemade jambalaya, some ratatouille corn here, and some homemade baguettes. Let's see what we got going down here. Now I'm gonna get ready to fix everybody's plate and talk to y'all later. Alright, so hey, we can't start with the gym, but we got this good food going. Cause I was hungry, man. We've been we've been we've been we have been we been saving this surprise for y'all, good so Ooh, I'm a literally ready to eat this food for sure. Mm -hmm. So um I guess one thing that I gotta say is what's been the biggest transition um this year for you inside of y'all brains? Man, uh, I'm just trying to hand everything over to both my cousins. They business partners, and I'm just trying to train them to be me. So, like, basically, honestly, I didn't know how to train them. So, the, the easiest way for me to be able to do so is, like, yo, just come into the office. Just watch me. So, that was it. I just had to mimic, like, what it's I'm doing. It's also the toughest way, too. Yeah, it's the toughest way, but I'm like, just watch me. So, but then they can formulate the questions that they need to ask me. Because they're like, why are you over here? Why are you doing this? Why are you touching them? Because mm. I don't know what to answer them. Because I don't know what they don't know. And, and, and you inside the business. So um, one thing that we talk about is like, you know, there's a difference between working in the business and on the business. And by you working in the business so much, sometimes it's hard for you yeah. to take a, st the, a step away. From yeah. you. Because one, you love what you do. That's the first thing. And then two... It's just that if you step out of it, then things may stop. You don't want those things to stop. Mm -hmm. So like, um, and, and, and bro, we deal with, I deal with this, I deal with this myself. Like me just being like a designer, me just being like the person that do like the websites, just the, the, the technical side, it's hard for me to be like, this, go through this step, this step, this step, this step, this step, just like with you, is people gotta watch what I do. And so they could just pick up and learn from that. But, um, that go that go with the thing that we always teach is just you trying to delegate and elevate. Mm -hmm. it's, it's only so much that you could do with your time. We all only we all got the same time, twenty four hours in a day. Yep. We got We got to sleep for at least what eight of them, eight of them hours. Um, some of y'all probably sleep less than that. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you gotta be able to spend your time on the things that the business truly need you for, Absolutely. and the things that the business don't really need you for. You gotta stay away from that, and you gotta get somebody else in position to do that. Mm. Yep. So I guess. You know, and for us, um, like when we first got started, we didn't know, like, I started reading books, learning about the systems and stuff. Like, we literally were just happy people was helping us, honestly, at one time. And so we started realizing, all right, we had to go run to the post office or whatever it is we're running. We'll come back and we'll be like, you know, how many boxes you did? And they were still on the first box. So we know we noticed that, okay, we got to at least have some goals. Right. You know, like, you got to be able to, let me see how fast I could do this. And then we gonna put that. We gonna have a gold board. So we literally had gold boards. So when you when you was done doing your box or whatever it was, you would have to go get your uh, your marker and put a tally. And then we'll keep track of how many boxes they was doing. And then we got to where you know they was adding tallies on the boxes. So then we had to figure out you know put the managers on them. Then the managers now so they tell them oh, I'm done with my box. So the manager go in there and mark the tab. So mm -hmm. the person wasn't that. Yeah. So your systems literally just evolve over time as you do it. But the most important thing is putting those systems in play now. Whether that's just saying step one, step two, step three, this what it is. And then you start to realize, okay, step two is a little slow. Yeah. Like, or, or something, th this could go faster. How do we figure that out? And then once you figure that out, you made that faster. You realize that step one is slow now. Now you start fixing step one. And so it's all about just breaking down your processes and just looking at them individually and seeing what one's the slowest or what one's like having our thing we talk about is just we just want to be effective and efficient as possible because that's going to save time and when you're saving time it's, it's saving money right. if you if, if you could ship out a thousand orders in one hour or uh, ten hours you rather do it in one hour right? right but to get in that one hour you got to create those systems to make that happen right hey, and speaking of system i'm gonna have to take this one to tour right here so check this out tour is a not a new brand owner, but I'm going to just say you're new for right now, all right? Sure. So, Tori is, is creating a brand new brand. And um, we've been talking a lot. He said he's going he said he going 10K first 30 days of just straight launching. I want you to explain to the channel and explain to us what make you think that you're going to do 10,000 in the first 30 days with a new brand. Um, uh, why, what, what make you think that you're going to do that and why are you so confident in doing that? Uh, and just give us a little bit more explain on how you're going to do that. And give us a strategy, man. Okay, yeah. So, um, the confidence level come from, man, 
Been in the industry for 10 years now. Started my first round, I was 16, just turned 26 uh, two months ago. So it's just, um, and with that, like I did 10K a month with my brand in the mall. So done it before in person and um, helped grow a brand online and um, scale that to way more than <laughs> 10,000. 10, and it's just like um, from the knowledge, the resources, team is like, Got all the pieces. So at this point, it's just, um, I mean, let's say what y'all always say, like sharing your why, like why I started this brand. And even with that, like, I know it's a strong why. Like, I was um, set on, like, launching, like, relaunching One Mission last year. I didn't say relaunching because I was still doing it, but, like, really taking it serious. And um, as soon as I got hit with the trademark thing, it was like, I can't give up. Like, this is not where the story ends. So, just like sharing that why, and so many people relate to that story of like, if it's fitness, if it's family, if it's business, it's like people had, they, they hit a wall, hit something where it's like, man, I could either give up or I could figure out a way to make it happen. Because um, like I said, victory close ahead. So it's like, just knowing that, like people relate to that. I just know, and with the resource, like just everything combined. Like well, you like, said, you was about to say the resources. The resources. Tell, tell me, give me, give me. Give me more of an insider scoop on how you really go. Like, do you, are you gonna do pre-orders? Do you already have the merchandise? You already got the merch, man. You the already merch, got the merch, the merch so you already in. invested into the merchandise. You got t-shirts, hoodies, shorts. What you got? T-shirts, hoodies, crew nets, some hats. Um, so with that, it's like over the time, as I got a print shop. So it's over the basically over the time I've been building connections, relationships, and also uh, one of my mentors told me years ago, it's like you don't want to only be the clothing brand, you want to own the whole supply chain if you can, like work on um, vertical integration. So um, that's one thing, me having my own print shop, I can be flexible and order stuff, get stuff when I need it. I could order smaller amounts than, than you probably could do if you just went to a print shop. You can make the samples yourself. Yeah, I can make the samples mm -hmm. myself. So on that part, and then also my experience over the last four years, been on a I, I say the strongest thing has been the fulfillment aspect of a brand. Um, went from shipping off 500 orders myself in the, in the factory, me and uh, shout out to my boy Bodie, who's in the factory, <laughs> uh, shipping out orders all day and night and turning it to um, creating systems to handle up at some time like 10,000 orders a day, like out the door. So just having those experiences really is just like, it's at this point doing it for myself and my own brand. It's like I got the knowledge up to millions of dollars a month, yeah. and it's like so. It's like ten thousand. It's like I know I can do it. Type of thing. And that, see, that's a big belief. But, but before we, man, what y'all think about the food? Well, you see, no, <laughs> mercy, man. You see this <laughs> man, that's a hey, shout out to Chef, man. We we appreciate Chef. Um, we actually um met Chef Lopez in um Phoenix. Uh, we was doing the, the Super Bowl event with Rap Snacks. Shout out to Rap Snacks. And, I mean, we just connected. And that's that's the big, that's that's the same thing we talked about, relationships. We was doing a pop-up shop. Doing a pop-up mm -hmm. shop. And how relationships can, you know, turn into something. So, like, make sure y'all check out Chef Pit. Like, I mean, y'all going to be seeing this food. This this is amazing, all right? But to kind of just get back on, on to the brand. Uh, so... I'm just getting started. Just getting started. Let's and and you know I'm trying to reach that ten thousand dollars a month, but I don't have all the resources that Tori has. What advice you got for me? Man, is it, all right. It's taking me a second because this whole week, this whole month, I've been like, probably know what you yeah, got. Yeah, mm -hmm. based on the resources I have, but um, if I had to do it today with nothing, um. Come up with one design. Okay. <laughs> I would literally come up with one design, something that's, um, when people read it, they could, like, they could understand it right away. Like, a lot of people, they have brands where they'll focus on, like, the symbol or logo, and it's like, it's people see it for the first time, may not know what it is, so I would do, like, a quote T, something that's shareable, like a caption, like, you know, you read a certain caption, you know, um, a certain amount of people like it, so I would come up with something like that. That resonates. Get, yeah, with, resonate you know? with people, like the masses. Like, that's what I'll do. And then, um, whatever you go for, if it's 10 shirts, you get 10 shirts. If it's 50, 100, get those shirts printed. And then, definitely sell it friends, family, hit the streets, and then just keep reinvesting and flipping it. That's how we'll start from day one. If I 
I have no resources. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I, and, and I, and I want to shift it to my boy Rich right here. Because well, cause, cause some... So we don't Rich, Rich stuff in his face right well, now, man. Rich, Rich <laughs> is stuff in his face because that place was full when it first came. Hey, but, but check this out. Nice. Nah, nah, bro. Do your thing, man. Hey, dig in. Hey, but check this out. Um, usually we don't really talk about like print on demand, mm -hmm. you know, one off products. Uh, but tell us how that's been effective in your business because I know, um, when you first got started with with, with your new brand, yeah, um, you wasn't going out buying all this product. When I came yeah. to your, when I came to your warehouse, you actually had twenty different, thirty different samples. I probably over exaggerated how many it yeah, was, yeah. but it was at least more than ten samples that um that was just one offs. And I feel like you created a lot of those yourself. Um, and then went out and mass produced it. So talk about like how um you know being able to still do one off items or uh you know do some do some heat pressing just to just get you some samples going. Tell us how that's been helping out with your brand. I mean, we kind of talk about two different things. If you talk about print on demand, like that's the space that you know I come from. Like I come from the e com side of the world. When I sell on marketplaces, leverage like organic search traffic, and we just like we're able to. You know, that, that's a system I know how to create. Mm -hmm. It's finding VAs, finding designers, finding people to manage those shops. And I can easily give them a 10K play on that. That's like, all you really got to do give is... Them go, the 10K give, play. give them the 10K give play. Give them the 10K play. Give them the, it may work for some give people. Give them the 10K play. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Bro, that's give what I'm talking about. Right, right. So one way, all you, all you got to do is download something like uh, this. There's several extensions. Like one's called Everbeat. You can take it and you can throw it on the marketplace like Etsy. And then you can download like whatever category you want to go into, whether it's a tumbler, a t-shirt, sweatshirt, go pick on one of the categories. And then um, you can download an Excel sheet, uh, sort it by sales, go to onlinejobs.ph, go find a, a designer. And then now you already have an Excel sheet that links directly to the designs that's already like top sellers. You tell them to go run it on USPTO.gov so that you know it's not trademarked or whatever. Then you tell them to use it as inspiration for brand new designs. And then once they create the new designs, tell them to create a mock-up. You go get another VA to list all of these things on your uh, print-on-demand side. So it links directly to your website. So basically, we're leveraging organic search that's already coming to Amazon and Etsy. People come here, they product. find a product. Mm -hmm. You got a top product. You print on the man, fulfill it. Mm -hmm. Basically, you already got a circle. Yep. So, so top products would be especially like um, holiday time. Like yeah, holiday time, Father's Day. Any holiday is like mm -hmm. when you make like a lot of bank. Mm. Hey, he just Rich just gave y'all the ten k play. Hey, make sure y'all go subscribe to Rich channel because he talked more in depth on print on demand and how he actually got started on inside of that business. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt y'all from these gems, but I gotta make a quick announcement. If you don't know already, we have a monthly workshop we do every month. So go ahead on and click the link in the description to figure out when that next workshop is. On day one, we're gonna cover design. So we're gonna be showing you how we actually create winning designs from our brand and how we have been able to make over $10,000 per drop from these designs. Day two, marketing. That's gonna be Facebook ads, optimizing your Shopify website. Day three, that's gonna be scaling up with pop-up shops and turn it into locations you don't want to miss it like i said go ahead on and see that link in the description but let's get back into the video i got a question for my boy tori because i because we didn't talk about this mm -hmm. you starting a new brand even even for you rich you, you, new brand what should i charge what my price point should be <laughs> well what i'm doing right now i'm doing free free shirt and charge for shipping and i'm doing Oh, 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 oh. Cause this this is a different play right here. So let's let's rich, rich, rich. We ain't doing nothing free right now. Hold on, hold on. Let's go, we're gonna go back to this. Cause I want you to talk about why you're gonna do the free tea. Okay. Rich, start a new brand. What should I charge? Uh when we first started, we was charging about nine to twelve dollars a t shirt. Okay. Hoodie. What's a hoodie? Hoodie we was looking at like it just depends on what price point we was at, but like twenty at the lowest. Give me some blanks. Give them, get the people some blanks. Give some me some blanks. companies. All right, so like one solid blank we've been messing with is uh, the Lane 7 blank. I forgot the number, but it, it's the style that everyone wants right now. I don't have like the ropes in and all that, but everyone thinks it's manufactured, but it's actually a blank. And you heard that, huh, Lane 7? We, we, might, we, might need a, we might need a little check for this video right here. What else? We, lane 7, that's the go-to. Give me one more. Give me got, one more. That the, the 202 tool sets right now. 202 <laughs> tool sets. Hey, we, we dropping, we dropping, all, we dropping everything that you need right here to start building your brand from scratch. 
I will talk. Talk, talk. Nick, Nick, I think dessert's coming out, bro. Dang. Yeah, man, we just got, we just, we, we. <laughs> All right, we, I'm about to feed my face now. <laughs> <laughs> we just got, we, we, we got special, specials on specials on specials. Shout out to Marlon, man. Hey, appreciate this, it. This was all Marlon right here. This was all Marlon right here. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, people. All right, hey. Hey, hey, hey. So let's go back to you. Let's go back to you with this free tea thing. You're going to do a free shirt, but you're also going to charge uh, for other products on your website. Correct. Why are you going to do the teas free? So I'm going to do the teas free because over the last couple of years, we, with the different brands we ran, we always done low price. Mm -hmm. And um, with that, if you're only doing low price, sometimes it's like with Facebook ads changing, and the market is like, it's not the same return on your money. And it's like, I feel like for a new brands, you just do straight low. It's, you got a lower profit margin. So I'm going to go all the way, as low as you can get. Because the low price, it was a tension grabber. It's like, you sell something, say, $5.99, $9.99. It's like, it's a shock value to get them. So it's like, all right, how can we bring a bigger shock? Which I feel like the only thing you can go cheaper than $5 is it's free. free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like, a bigger shock, so more clicks. But then everything else is going to be high. And when I say high, the minimum be $25. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to have some... Hundred dollar hoodies. I'm gonna have some fifty dollar hoodies. Some like just a range of different. Kind products. of what James talked about. Mm -hmm. That's a, uh, just in a different way of it. Um, uh, in one of the other podcasts that we talked about, you know, maybe having some if you want a luxury brand. So let's just say you want to validate hundred dollar shirts. Right. Well, you may put on a, a five hundred dollar shirt. You know, premium quality. So, you know, even though people may not buy that $500 shirt, yeah, now they look at the $100 shirt as being it's cheap. It's a but it's the vice versa. Yeah. This way is like, you got, not saying, you got something that's affordable on the website right. that typically, you know, they coming on, the, oh, they want the free shirt, but they like, oh yeah, I'm ordering anyway. I might as well just get the $25 shirt yeah, because right, now right. I'm going to so, I want to support them anyway. Exactly. Yeah, so it's just, it's just... In the opposite way, so that's yeah. pretty cool. One thing I want to add is like a lot of people don't even know to use this word. A lot of people come in the game talking about like, how can I make money? How can I make sales? But you ain't got customers. Like mm -hmm. you, you need to have that price to just have customer acquisition. Mm -hmm. So like acquiring customers should be number one. What is customer acquisition for those who that may not know? It's the cost of acquiring customers. So basically, if your all-in cost is just like organic and Say you got like the cost of a t-shirt six dollars, and then it costs you two three dollars to print, and then they paying, they paying, damn what what I charge? <laughs> so, so say they pay six dollars for a t-shirt, mm -hmm. and then whatever the difference is, that's your cost to have a customer if you broke even that first time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So basically, if they get the free tea, um, you just you just you, you pay you you willing to pay that cost mm -hmm. to get that customer, yeah, right. and, then, and then from there, um, that's when you start blasting them with the emails, blasting them with the text. And you trying to get them to convert on something that's higher. Yeah, even that with the free free t shirt play, most people gonna get the free shirt, but you're gonna have a percentage percentage of people who gonna buy the other stuff. So if say if you starting at same same price points, twenty five dollar t, fifty dollar hoodie, hundred dollar hoodies, if you just push that, you'll have a harder time getting people to your site getting the traffic. So with the free shirt, you get in the traffic there and then you're just looking at the numbers like, okay, if I get ten percent of them Traffic so, is just for eyeballs, right. basically. Mm -hmm. Like you kind of uh, who was saying you gotta you when you get on that at night, they gotta stick. They gotta get sticky. Once once they come to our site, it's just crazy. When I show someone on Instagram, it, it's almost like I see their face light up. Almost mm -hmm. like they can't believe that it looked the way that it looks on the site. Like you know, professional photos, and it's almost like this your brand? Mm -hmm. Like yeah, you know, and it's very colorful when I scroll through our Instagram. Uh, and like colors like just make people happy. So like literally I could just see people getting happy when they looking through that they're like, I'm gonna purchase. But it's initially when they come on that it they just scroll two swipes, whoop whoop, and they automatically like it. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to build your brand where people come on there and it's something that is grabbing their attention, mm -hmm. whether that's you know the colors of the designs, whether that's the actual, you know, product that's standing out. Like you have to make people like believe in what you got going mm -hmm. you know t they gotta stop they gotta like because attention span is so fast we all just swipe 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 so when you swipe some gotta like grab your attention exactly. to make you stay on that and click it and go view that page mm -hmm. yep and one of those things is free tees hey man run the play you run the play 10k 30 days we gotta make a new video all right so channel 
Hey, I'm gonna need y'all to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Y'all just heard what y'all just heard what went what went down. Tori said he gonna do 10k in 30 days. So we gonna need the we gonna need that video, all right? So I need y'all to comment 10k in 30 days if you wanna see that video or see if my guy actually made that happen. This is the, that's the 10k challenge. We gonna have to we gonna challenge. We gonna have to make a full a full video for that. Cool. Yeah, I got a question because a lot of you know a lot of people don't really understand the ins and out of business so let's just like over these last two years i mean we have seen you know t-shirt prices go up shipping prices go up labor you know people need more money rent going up everything is going up like how has that affect our businesses the level i want to go on is like i've just now started serving in my own students and like there's a huge difference between the people who have the information and like execute on it properly and I've come to realize it's like I, I train my six and seven figure students differently. I, I do a lot more mental pushing there. So mm -hmm. like that's the same thing that I had to do with like my Thank own you. personal businesses. Mm -hmm. The thing is, a lot of people who are starting, they have the right information already. And they, they take action on it and they, they put it to use and then they get slapped in that face the first time and they get really discouraged and they don't want to get back up. And everyone's number is different. Like you might succeed on your second try, your fifth try, your tenth try. But that's that's the entire difference between like someone who's just starting off and someone who, who's succeeded is just the the perseverance to keep on pushing through. Mm -hmm. Same thing with my personal business. Anytime like oh the t-shirt price changed, we just gonna have to figure it out. Yeah, and I mean for us it's like uh, honestly it bec this was a good not saying a good time, but it's like everybody's raising their price. So I'm, uh, like what we said is just like. Everybody's understanding that everything's costing more, right. so we had to, you know, charge it to the customer. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of our customers that don't know, the first probably just up until this year, we was paying the taxes for everybody mm -hmm. because we wanted the cost to be as affordable as possible. So we're like, we was paying there. There was everything was flat, and we was covering their taxes. So when you go to the store, they add an extra ten percent yeah. on the, mm -hmm. so that way you you are covering their taxes. So uh, we was, you know, those type of things, you know, became ineffective for us with prices going up. It's mm -hmm. tough for us to give our, you know, customers that leverage of, okay, we'll cover the taxes. Oh, but but now, you know, our shirts are $2 even more on mm -hmm. top of us covering the taxes. So mm -hmm. we have to make adjustments as business owners, especially in the apparel business, to, you know, say, okay, well, now we have to raise our prices up a little bit. And so that's, that's what people are seeing. But what we're noticing is that like people being understanding and actually raising our prices, it gives us like more wiggle room to even, you know, market more. Right. Because once we got a ten dollar t shirt and you know, let's just say fifty percent of it go to cost of goods, you only got five dollars. You know, you still gotta pay labor, you know, you still gotta pay, you know, marketing. Um so you your margins are very, very thin. Mm -hmm. But now that we are able to charge, you know, and not saying we couldn't charge it before. But have a, a big enough audience to still be able to withstand the amount of uh, quantity that we still want to push out every month mm -hmm. because it's about having people with your brand on. Mm -hmm. That's why we're still doing free shirts because if people not rocking your brand, you become extinct. You become uncool. People not going to go to your, your brand not top of mind because nobody not seeing it. Mm -hmm. So we still wanted to balance, you know, keeping product moving, but, you know, still finding that balance of, okay, we do have to begin to raise your prices. I, I I heard um, in a video that Warren Buffett said, it's not a business if you can't raise the prices on it. Mm -hmm. like, because that's the businesses that he wanted to invest in because that's that wiggle room. You want Shopify. You know, they everybody got that notification that they was raising that price. Mm -hmm. I mean, from I want to say they got 300,000 Shopify stores. Mm -hmm. you, you know, they, they, they bottom line just got a lot heavier. Mm -hmm. And with that money, they now are able to invest in more marketing, invest in more things to actually grow their business. So when you're supporting us, seeing our prices go up, we're actually now being able to have more to reinvest in the business. We've been doing this, like, we've been doing this off of basically um, being happy with almost breaking even to acquire customers mm -hmm. so that way we can grow our database. Mm -hmm. But now what we're saying is, or we have a database, we have a loyal support base, continue to be loyal to us. We gonna, the prices are going to have to go up, but now we about to improve the experience. Right. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so now we got time and, and, and more funds to produce Talk to time. maybe go get an athlete, mm-hmm. right? to maybe go out and and, per, and purchase that. You know, we want to do a mobile a mobile store like. And it's, like, we let y'all know because we go, we gonna give them the game before like, we, we gonna run, do it. Run the play that we like, telling you. We about to do it. So just being able to invest in those things and you know not have to like go out and raise capital because a lot of businesses also do go out of business because of raising capital. You, because you you have to continue to grow just as fast as you go up. You got to continue to grow capital wise with that because it's a certain standard. Like when we go out, World Envision is a standard. And if we can't, you know, go to Essence Fest and have our pop-up shop boot looking the way that we want it, not saying that it's, it's a, a, a downgrade for us, but it's a certain level that we have to raise all the brands to. So they mm-hmm. people come in there to see what our brand going to do so that way we can inspire them. So, like, at our minds, we got to always go as hard as we can because you got everybody, you know, chasing you. Like, it, it's cool to be, you know, at the top, but we not, like, satisfied or, or just like, oh, yeah, we, we we made it. Like, we trying to, like, explode the moment, mm-hmm. like, and really become one of the, we're going to become one of the biggest brands in the world. So, like, that's a different type of um, effort that we got to display when we out there. That's why, I like, you know, just being professional, like, how we look, everything literally matters to us. We look and we analyze everything. So that way, our brand could be have that prestige. Like when you start in your brand, a lot of people they just do anything. Like they don't really. Right. And not saying you got oh this design. Like, but what I'm trying to say is like treat your customers with respect. You know what I mean? That's that's you know people come back like we we are always jolly. We have a meeting. Shout out to Rap Snacks again. We have a meeting with them, and they they just happy to get on a call with us because we in a good morning. We got energy. Like are oh, you bringing energy to people's lives? It's mm-hmm. it's not just about growing your brand. Your brand is gonna grow when you change lives. Like Nike changed people's lives forever. Really? So they one of the biggest brands because they're still changing people's lives to this day. Mm-hmm. Um, so what impact are you gonna make with your brand? What's gonna allow you to stand out? What's gonna make you different? And for us is being great, you know, is is creating these videos, is showing people that like we started this with 12 shirts, $120. Like y'all seen on the last video, we started this brand in 2010. Like this ain't a game. We were kids when we started this. And people on the channel, you could go back to two years ago when we was inside our headquarters. We 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 were sitting on beanbag chairs. We didn't even have no conference table. Two years ago, you could go back on our channel and go see we didn't even have a conference table in our conference room. We was just meeting on the floor. And how many people are willing to even put that on video? Right. Because some people may be embarrassed of that. But that was us being transparent, and that's how our brand is truly being able to grow. People really being able to watch this process. Absolutely. So they can see what they're investing into. They yes. Can see where their money going. Yes. Yes. Hey, Marge just, Mar- 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 just, Mar- just went in. Hey, so hey, hey, I'm full, so you know I had, I had that right. <laughs> if, if you're still watching this video right now, make sure. You, you, you should be still watching this video right now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let's... Do you got anything else? Anything else that you want that you want that you want leaving with, or any other yeah, question? Like, let's give them some um, like practical things. Like, what's that one thing that you maybe do? Or it may not be something you do every day, but what's that one thing that actually you feel like improved your life that you did? Improved my life. Man, I had a family. <laughs> Talk to them. <laughs> Talk to me. Explain. Yeah, it. See, like everyone like on the entrepreneur side, like everyone on YouTube, they see me as like oh rich, like the hustler, like uh, Tony. And he, he, they be like, oh, everyone sees uh, Rich the Hustle, but they don't see Rich the Dad. Like, I wake up every single day at 6 in the morning. I got to take my kids to school first. I got to do, I, I hit the gym before I even get to the freaking office. But, like, if we want to go, like, a step further than that, see, like, only, like, pretty much, like, a small amount of people know. Like, I know I talked to Marvin about, it. like, my oldest child, he has autism. Like, yeah, he has uh, special needs. And, man, some greed got me getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, for real, though, the thing is, is, like, a lot of people talk that talk like they talk like they want generational wealth, like what you need it for. Like I need it. Like my son can't live without me. Like when I'm gone, like I need generational wealth. Like that's what the fuck I'm doing it for. Talk to him. So it's it like if you don't have a why, I'm like, why are you working on your business? Then you probably ain't got a business. Ooh, Jim, Tori, I like I, Tori. How you gonna follow that one, big dog? How you gonna follow that one, big dog? How you gonna follow that one? Uh, keep it real simple. Stop overthinking. 
that saved my life. You no, know, we call it Nick asking the same questions and <laughs> mom, mom the trolley. And uh, a lot of my friends and family, I'll be asking them the same thing, man. What you what you think about this shirt? What you like just having them filling all these different materials? And I'm just like, man, you look at the big brands. Uh, like one of my favorite brands, you said Nike. It's like you go to the Nike store, you touch the shirts. It's so many different shirts they use. They're not just using one blank. They're not just using one supplier. So um, after I got out of my mind, it's like same way. Like everybody got a different story. Everybody got a different purpose. Like same thing with a shirt. Like you could use this shirt for free. You could use this shirt for twenty five. Use this shirt for a hundred. They all got a different thing. So it's like that's been the biggest thing for me. The last couple months is like not overthinking. Hey man, Tori had I had called Tori on one of these Saturdays. He said, "Man, honestly, I'm not trying to be working on the weekends no more." Yeah. Me and Tori be talking about the same thing over and over. <laughs> bro, so what shirt you gonna use, bro? Tell me one more time. So you sure you gonna use this one? Nah, man. Then that Tori said, "I don't like that shirt." Called me two days later talking about, "Man, I actually do like that shirt, bro." <laughs> man, I had to wash it, man. I had to wash it. I, I had to dry it. Like what? I, I thought you told me you washed that already. Hey, but stop overthinking. Stop. Not, what about stop. you, Nick? What you got for? Us? Hey, man. I'm a. I'm a. I'm going to say, just execute on things that you learn. So you watch this whole video. You watch multiple videos on our channel. And you you don't do anything. You you have, you have Don't be that person. All right? Don't be the person that just consume, 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 and never execute. All right? So like we always tell people, we like we putting all of the energy and the information inside these videos. There's nothing that we're not telling you. Like, this is it right here. Like, we're giving you motivation. We're giving you the players. We're giving you the people. Like, we gave you the platform, right? Now you just got to take this and go execute. Yeah. And well, and I say, like, what, what would be that thing that, you know, that you did that you feel like improved your life? Um, I mean, same thing I just said. Learning, for one. Like, so, you know, uh, understanding that you don't know everything. And always being a student of the game. So, like, like how you saying you hit me up. Ask a couple, I'm always learning. Like, you, it ain't nothing. Like, me just sitting down talking to y'all right now. I'm learning something. Like, I... I don't take none of this and be like, oh, I already know this. Nah, like I'm learning. Like even when I wa rewatch the videos, I may say something that I never said in a long time. And now I hear that thing again, so I'm learning again. So really just always learning. Like I said, applying what I learned. Like, so I'm saying I could watch a movie and learn something. Even a, it could be a fiction movie, bro. But like the one thing that they said, like I learned something from it. it I was watching Power. I'm gonna give you a real deal example. I was watching Power and dude said that, um, he was saying that, you know, it's not bad to have a business with a lot of volume. It's not bad because at the end of the day, all the, all the wealthy people is really just ants on the hill. It ain't, that, it, it ain't, it ain't more rich people than, uh, than, than people that don't really have it like that. So don't be afraid to keep your products affordable. Everybody can't spend $100 on a shirt. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? So why, why, why are we sitting up here acting like everybody got $100 to spend on a shirt? No, let's keep our shirts at $10, $12. And let everybody be able to get our product and not just one person. So, you know, that one thing I learned from watching a fake TV show, basically, yeah. you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But I'm, being, I'm, being, I'm applying that one thing that I'm learning to, you know, the business yeah. that we're doing. Yep. Yeah. I say, um, for me, it's just like understanding, like, you know, just where, like, time at. Because uh, it wasn't until, like, I, had, I, I was on a schedule and not just a schedule for work. Like, I even had a schedule for school as far as, like, when I had to practice. You know, when I had to go to study all shit, damn no, even when I needed to go to sleep. And some people may be like, you know, it is robotic, but um, it allowed me to understand, you know, the times that I had to do the things that I had to do. Because like now if, you know, somebody want to reach out or, you know, you, you going you want, you, you got you're something in between that time pulling you away. We ain't going to say what it is. Like your schedule keep you on, like you gotta be at this. And now that's even a reflect you can even show that, like, bro, I can't. Like I gotta be at this. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it'd be like, you don't have no schedule for when you went to school, if a lot of, if you was in college, if you're in college right now, you know your schedule. Like you yours it's like around the clock. You gotta be at this class. If you don't go to class, after the semester you probably gonna fail. Like, so that's the same thing in life. Like if you don't show up to your life classes, to your life assignments, nine times out of ten. <laughs> You gon' fail, and then we look at it, and so why we fail? But it was that we didn't have the proper schedule, like we wasn't trained on how to truly organize ourselves to operate our lives effectively. Like we operate out of chaos. Like even myself, a lot of times, like it's like we thrive in chaos. We do better when the pressure on us than when we got time. You know, like I wait to the I book 
I check in my flight two hours before you got to <laughs> you got to check in the flight. Like it's like why am I keep doing that when I can check in twenty four hours before, or whatever? As soon as that day come and the time come, you can have everything already booked. So you have to put yourself on a schedule. Um, so that way you could truly see where your time going. And if it's on the weekends, you like, I'm open, I'm free, I do whatever I want, cool. But Monday through Friday, that nine to five for us, from five to three, we work different time schedules. We like our afternoons. Um, like, you have to operate yourself because we business owners. We don't come to the office and they hand us the paper, like, go do this, this is what you got, knock this out in this time period, and this is what it is. Like, we create our own deadlines. And as the, uh, you know, the boss and the, and the leader sometimes, that's what we got in business to do. Do it on our own time. But it is a time and a place for everything. And you do have to have everything accordingly and just in line inside of your business. So that's just like one of the things I feel like actually been able to like help me because it's a lot of just like everybody in here pretty much got a lot on their plate. Mm -hmm. So think about it. You've seen a big team like that managing 50 people doing a print shop. Trying to get your personal self together and trying to learn about stocks and vests. You want to do all of these things, but how can you do it if you truly don't even know how much time you got to do it? Because it had to be what now I had to realize what, like, damn, Ma, you really can't do this. Like, that's the, like, the hurtful part about it, like, realizing that I can't commit to this because I really don't even have the time. And so now you got to delegate and elevate, baby. And so you start building that team. And so you, that's how you truly start growing. Then that's when you realize that team is important. But you got to uh, manage yourself first. And then you can manage other people. Mm. That was big right there. Yeah. Hey, hey. But hey, we appreciate y'all. Once again, I'm Marlon Watts, co-owner and CEO of World and Vision. Hey, I'm Nicholas Clark, co-owner and designer. Hey, appreciate my boys appreciate for coming you. through. Let them know who y'all are. Let them know who y'all are before we get out of here. Come on, give me a drop. Give me a drop. Let them know we out. Let them let them know we out. Let them know we out. Tori, you can follow my new brain. Euro Vicar. Okay. E R O T. Okay. Okay. My name is Rich. Go on YouTube. Type in how to make a T-shirt. I'll hey, pop up. Do the clothes out for us. Now, Rich. <laughs> Tell yeah. Hey, do the clothes out for us now, Rich. Tell them we out. Tell them we out. Hey, don't forget about Shelf, but what? But but we we out. We out. <laughs> <laughs>